Hey guys, um, I've been playing with the colored clay, as you know, and I've got two designs that I've kind of came up with so far. There's so many variations, obviously, that you can use and make with the colored clay, but um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna share what um, how to make these designs. So these tumblers here, as you can see, are just um, on the outside. So the colored clay is not on the inside of the piece. It's just on the outside. So the first half of this video is gonna be making this design. I think they're just so freaking cool. Look at that. And then you have the yellow. I just did one color, the yellow, the purple, and then I did two colors. I'm sorry, I did three. I did green, blue, and yellow on these. But it's all technique and just like playing with it. And you'll see in the, um, the video when, when I start making them. Here we go. Okay, so I've coned the clay already up and down, and now I coned it like two or three times. And now I'm gonna try this like cool effect. I rolled out a coil of the green clay and just play with it. I'm just gonna like do like this spirally, thing here, really stick it on. And then I'm gonna add some like blue like dots and just like see what happens. I have a feeling it's gonna be cool. So I added two blue dots you can put them wherever you want. And then I have like a splash of yellow that I wanted to try to throw in there somewhere. Maybe just like, I don't know, right here. Let's see what happens. So now, because I've already combed it, I'm gonna um, just smooth it and comb this one time just to like get it to all incorporate. I'm just feeling the clay. It's a little lumpy, I know, but it'll smooth out once I cone it. Here's technique number two. I've got two one pound balls of clay that I cut open and I'm sandwiching um, the colored clay in between. 
and then I'm slamming them on the table just to get any air out um, and combine them. And then I'm wedging them. So it's just a different way um, to use colored clay and this will create a marbled effect. Okay, so with that last technique, that yielded this result, this design pattern, which is more of like a marbled effect. And again, these are in bisque, so this will go in the bisque load, but when they're fired, they'll uh, these colors are gonna pop. Now inside, I also trim that's why there are lines in there, which kind of bug me, but then again, it's handmade. And once I glaze it, I don't know, the, the lines tend to go away, like, somewhat. So that's why there's trimming things in there. But anyway, so that last technique is what this will yield. So I'm curious, um, curious what you think of each each of these which ones do you like I cannot wait to see these fired I'll tell you that so that's it for the colored clay video today um, I can't wait like I said to have these fired which should be um, maybe within the next month I'll have them done along with some other um, awesome glaze combos so I will post a glazing kiln unloading video as well all right, guys, hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.